hi guys it's the oscars and in honor of the oscars i am about to show you my top 10 most favorite movies of 2019 yeah i always do this before the actual oscars ceremony i know glasses i don't actually need them they're decorative so before i begin with my top 10 i just want to say that thanks for all the support guys because it's been a fun 2019 for me because I guess in 2019, I've actually watched a lot more movies than I used to in the previous years. I, I don't know my estimate. Maybe like, I would say it's like 70 to 80 movies last year. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Let's start with some honorable mentions first. We have A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Someone Great, Rocket Man, Ready or Not, John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, how to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Dead Kids, The Irishman, Alita Battle Angel, Jojo Rabbit, and Parasite. From my experience, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to choose your top 10 when you've seen a lot of great films. So my number 10 is... Book Smart. The reason I like this movie because it just centers on these two teenagers. They just want to have one more good time before college because they were so focused on doing good on their school works and they didn't know that the people who did good at school and managed to have fun, they're getting into good colleges as well. But these two teenagers didn't get the chance to have fun not once in high school. So they wanted to enjoy one last party or something. And this movie has great writing. These two characters really fit as friends. You buy them as best friends because they have one of the best chemistries of 2019. You can see that one of them is saying something. The other has a good reaction to it. It's a good coming of age movie for both of them. Nine is... Us, which is Jordan Peele's second movie. And what I can tell you is uh, I watched this with my friend and I was so stressed out. This movie had Lupita Nyong'o shining again and it had a great script. You know, it's a good showcase for Jordan Peele because we know that he can actually do great horror movies. And then not just horror movies, it's this actually fits into the thriller category. It actually fits in with the sci-fi Twilight Zone category. And this movie actually gave me a good scare. And I applaud this movie. Nice one, Jordan Peele. Number eight. For me, this is the best spiritual movie of 2019 because this focuses on a mom wants her boy to be saved because her boy is in a coma due to an accident. All she wants to rely on is prayer and faith in God. And that's what she does. Is a character development for her because in the movie she tries to control whatever she wants to control but God is saying to her that that is not what it's supposed to be just trust me and then she put all her faith in God surrendered to him and this is a good movie to showcase how faith can actually move mountains and can save lives number seven I suspect foul play yes Ryan Johnson's movie how could it not be there? This is one of the movies I was excited to see because uh, Ryan Johnson coming out from Star Wars The Last Jedi, I actually saw that he can actually bring you moments that are unexpected. And this movie had a lot of unexpected scenes, you know, you won't see coming. I think you will, but turns out in the end, no. It's not what you'd expect. And it has a great performances from a lot of the cast. Daniel Craig, Ana de Armas, Chris Evans. This is one of the most genius movies of the year. Great characters too. I hope Ryan Johnson actually comes through with the sequel that he wants to do for this movie. Number six is... Oh yeah, so it's Leo and Brad Pitt in one movie. Directed by Quentin Tarantino. Should I even say more? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So it deals with Rick Dalton and Cliff Booth. They're best friends. Rick Dalton's the actor. And his stunt double is Cliff Booth. And it's basically a character movie. I mean, I like both these characters so much. But uh, if I'm gonna be honest, uh, I like Quentin Tarantino's uh, characters from the past more, but doesn't mean I don't like these characters. I mean, in this movie, I like Cliff Booth a lot. He showed so much loyalty to his boss and friend. This movie actually shows, you know, how Quentin Tarantino actually loves movies. He loves the 1960s. And Quentin Tarantino is one of the best author filmmakers of all time. And I want to rewatch this movie again. Number five is... This movie had the best confrontation scene of all. 
year. I don't know if you guys saw that scene, but that scene like, ooh. You know that these two people love each other and it just won't work. Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson had great, great acting in this. I applaud them for getting Oscar noms because this movie just blew my mind with its great script, great direction, and cinematography. Great props to all the filmmakers in this. Number four is... 1917. The movie with the best cinematography of 2019. You come up with a war movie which is shot in one continuous shot or it's made to look like it's one continuous shot. I'm sold. It had two great characters, great story, simple story but with great execution. That's what made it so unique. And Sam Mendes was able to just show the audience that war films are here to stay. Number three is... All I have are negative thoughts. Yes, that is Joaquin Phoenix in the joke. I don't know what to say about this movie. It's just, this movie is flawless for me. I I love it so much because it actually shows a downfall of a character. Like in my review, I referenced Walter White in it because he's not a bad character. He's not a bad person. He's just driven to a society that made him a bad person. This is a good psychological movie. It shows, you know, how much a person can take how much a person can hurt inside and how much he can go insane if you don't show that he matters. That's why we have to take care of ourselves. Number two is... Oh, that movie always has a friend in us. I'm sad that I didn't get to do a review on this movie because I started doing reviews in October. But this movie, I have to admit, I was scared when they announced they were going to make a fourth Toy Story movie because Toy Story 3 was perfect. It was a perfect movie. And it ended perfectly with a great conclusion. But how are you going to make a sequel that can top that? They set the bar up so high. And luckily, Toy Story 4 actually still made me, made me a child again. Yeah. Because seeing these characters together again and seeing how it's a well-crafted story, a friendship story, that is, this brought tears to me, especially the last scene. I... I don't want to think about it again, guys, so let's move on. All right, so my number one. Hmm, what movie have I not mentioned yet that's so popular, that is so well-deserved, that is so memorable, I could just snap. I wonder what it is. <laughs> of course it's Avengers Endgame. <laughs> How could it not be Avengers Endgame in more than a decade which started with Iron Man. I mean, we followed these characters as they grew, as they became close to each other, as they became teammates, and eventually, this is the grand conclusion of the Infinity Saga, Avengers Endgame. Memorable characters, memorable scenes, memorable action scenes, and of course, we have to single out the finale of this. It has a great finale, and for me, if a movie has a great third act, then that's a home run for me. And this movie had deep, best home run. It's a movie where the marketing did a good job on hiding everything that was going to happen in this movie. And we were all surprised. We didn't know anything about it. And when it came out, it blew our minds. I watched it a couple times in the theater and then all the people who watched it actually cried. I mean, who wouldn't? Avengers Endgame is, for me, the best movie of 2019. Just because, for me, I care about the characters. All of them. They actually show that they have great arcs. And I... So guys, those are my top 10 favorite movies of 2019. And that was hard. That was hard to choose. As you can see from my honorable mentions, that was one of the hardest picks I had to choose from. So, But thank you guys for sitting with me through the whole year of me reviewing movies. These are my most favorite movies of last year. I like watching movies and reviewing them. And I'm glad you guys are supporting that. I appreciate you guys. God bless you for that. Please subscribe to my channel. Watch my other videos. Thank you. God bless you. And see you at the movies.